Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make a pretty sweet two-player game in Game Maker. Today we're going to be making table hockey. It's pretty simple. It's my second time recording it. Last time I had it and my computer restarted for an update without warning me, but alright. So we're going to open up Game Maker, which you can download free, the light version, uh, off Yogo's, uh, Yo-Yo Games. So we're going to start off by making a sprite, which is going to be our hockey puck, and player one. We're going to name it player one. Well, you can make your sprites, which are basically your players and your items in the game, by clicking the little Pac-Man symbol up here at the top. All right, so let's go to load sprite. We're going to find a sprite we can use. You can get to the sprites by going to your C drive, program files, game maker 8, sprites. Then we're gonna go to uh, the bouncy, the bouncing balls or whatever. I don't know. We're gonna go with the soccer ball. We're not gonna use a soccer ball for our pucks or our players. We're gonna edit them to be hockey pucks. So you can zoom in on your player by pressing Control and Equals. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this, this puppy in. We're gonna make player one blue. I may uh, be interrupted a couple times in this recording, and this recording might be fairly long. Alright, so we're going to go with the text, and we're going to make the text white. We're going to go 1, so people know who they are. We're going to drag it to the center, and you have a lopsided puck with a 1 symbol. Yours is going to be a lot better than mine. So, there you go, you have player one, now we're going to make player two. Load sprite, soccer ball, edit. This one's going to be red. So we're going to go with the red. Go with the white. Two, okay. Put it in the middle and check mark that. Now you have player two, one and two actually. Now we're gonna make the hockey puck. So this is gonna be the puck. I don't know how to spell it, so I'm just putting P U K. And we're gonna make the puck. Dun 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 dun. This. We're gonna edit sprite. And we are going to make it, uh, we can make this one a pinkish color. Check mark that. Now you got your puck, your players. Now we need to make a wall. So we need to go up here. Type in wall, and this is going to be your wall. So we're going to go OK. Whoops, not OK, my bad. Load sprite. Just click this down, go to sprites, maze platforms. Scroll on to the bottom if you want to get these ones that I got. I'm going to get this cracked wall, for example. Now we have our three, our four things that we kind of need. But let's go on to the objects now. We're going to click the little blue ball up here. And we're going to name this one player one with no space. We're going to load this, the sprite and we're going to use player one sprite. We're going to add an event and it's going to be the moving or the movements. Now we're going to go with key release so that whenever you release the keys, your guy will stay in one spot and not move. So you're going to go key release, any key, and you're going to drag this red thing right here into the actions. Then you're going to click the blue square in the middle, and the speed is going to be zero, like this. Now you want to add the movement, so we're going to go keyboard, for player one is going to be using the arrow keys. So we're going to add in all the arrow keys real fast, left, right, up, down, down. Left is going to be a left movement. 
at a speed of 6. Up is going to be an up movement of 6. Right is going to be a right movement of 6. Down is going to be a down movement of 6. And you should have all those set for movements at a speed of 6, except for the release key. That stays at 0. Now you're going to do the same for player 1. I go to object. We're going to name it player 2. Or same for player 2, not 1. I'll load player 2 sprite. We are going to add an event. Key release, any key. And we're going to go with the same movement in the center. Now we're going to do the same things, except we're going to do letters this time for player 2. So player 2 is going to be using up, or W for up. So you want to use letters, S for down, A for left, and D for right. So you want to go ahead and set those. A is right, speed of 6. D is left, speed of 6. S is down, speed of 6. W is up, speed of 6. So now we have player 1 and player 2. That's all you need for them. Now Puck is a little bit more confusing. P-U-K-O-B-J. So we know it's the object. So we can tell the difference. We're going to load the, the Puck. And we want to add event. We want to add collisions. With player 1 is going to be a ricochet, not precisely. I'm going to go to add event, collision, player 2, collision, not precisely, or precisely, I mean, my bad. And that's all we can do for now. We're going to go to another object, and we're going to make the wall. Wall, O, B, J. Add sprite, we're going to open up the wall. Now there's no events, this is a solid object. <clears throat> now we can go back into puck, add event, collisions, wall, and you want to make the puck solid as well, my bad. And you want this to be a ricochet, not precisely as well. Or precisely, I mean, what is wrong with me? Okay, there you go. Now that we have all of that, we're going to go ahead and start setting up our rooms. So you're going to click this little thing right next to the blue ball for the objects. And then you're going to open it wide, at full screen, make it 32 by 32. You want to take your walls, hold shift, and drag across the outsides so you fill this in. Now you want to make the goals. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Do the same on each side. Because it is a bit hard to make a goal. If you want, you can go smaller, but it's pretty difficult. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> then you want to take player 1. You go down here to open up objects. Player 1, put it in the center. Player 2, put it in the center. Then you want to take the puck, put it here, so it's more towards the center of this all. And you go to the little check mark, because that's all we have for now. <clears throat> well, you actually do not want to finish it. You want to go to backgrounds. I want to make a color. I'm going to choose this color because I think it looks the best. Adds it a pretty cool, you know, gives it a pretty cool look. So you want to change the color in the background section. Now you can press the check mark. Okay. Now we want to go here. Create this. Now that we know our color, we can make this goal line, which is going to be a new sprite. Go to load sprite, just open this same one. We're going to edit it to be the same color of our floor. So you just want to take this, 
find our color. Pretty sure that's mine. Yes. And then you just want to color it in with our color. Now you want to make the text black or whatever color you want it to be. Click and call it gold. Drag it to the center. It's okay. And there you go. You have a gold line. Check that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make a new object called goal line 1. Or goal line. Never mind. My bad. Delete this. You want to go into puck, add event, collision. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting a bit confused after having to do this more than once. So, you do want to make an event. Call it goal line. Add the sprite, goal line. Don't make the solid because you want the objects to be able to go through it. Press OK. Double click on puck, add event, collisions with goal line, collisions with goal line. Or you need to make two, okay here, I'll show you. My bad. You want to rename this one goal line one. You want to make another one called goal line two. With the same spread. Now you go into puck, I'm sorry. Add event, collisions, go line one. Okay, we're gonna make a main two, and we're gonna drag in info. So it pulls up a message whenever the player scores. So it's, this one's gonna say player two wins. And you're gonna go to restart. So the game restarts when the player wins. The reason why we're putting player two wins in the goal line one is because when the player, because this is going to be the one that will be in player one's goal. So whenever player two hits in player one, it'll display a message or a message that says player two wins. You can make the message whatever you want. Now we're going to go to add event, collision, goal line two. A message saying player one wins. And we're going to make another restart. Now you're going to press OK and another thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up here to sounds, load sound, applause, name this one winner, and press OK. Now we're going to go back into puck, goal line one, we're going to go to main one, we're going to drag sound, we're going to load a sound which is going to be the winner sound that we just created. Loop can be true if you want, if you want it to keep on repeating. I'm going to put it to false. Goal line 2, you're going to drag in a sound. Winner. So what you're going to do is you want to drag the sound above the message so it plays in order. You want it to play the sound, then the message, then you want it to restart the game. So do that for both of them. So it displays the sound message restart okay go back into room go here to goal line one lay it here go to goal line two lay it here now you're good for that check on okay go to puck and then you want to add an event, go to other, go to game start, you want to drag in a movement, you want it to go this way or this way, it doesn't matter, i make mine go this way, at a speed of 8. So whenever the game starts, the puck will take off, and then you guys want to charge for it. Press OK. Now we can test out our game by pressing the little green play button up here. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'll show you. As you can see, the puck takes off, but 
We want to move player two out of the way so we can give it get a goal and win the game. Oh, that's not good. We can go through the walls. We don't want that to happen. So hold on. We need to X out. And then we need to go to player one. Solid. Player two, solid. Puck solid. Yeah, okay, we're good. Now we should be good if we try out our game. <clears throat> we shouldn't go through the walls. Sorry for that. So if we see here, we can still go through the walls wanting to snap. See if we can hit the puck. And yeah, we can hit the puck. As you can see, it's all working. Except we need to find out what the deal is with the walls. Wall solid. Player spawn. I'll figure out what's wrong and I'll be okay guys so I figured out that it's not really it probably won't happen to you guys it's just kinda messed up for me I think uh, it's because my game maker messed up but it should be working perfectly fine for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, it was a pretty easy setup pretty easy game to make but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing a little bit harder games when I get, you know, better experience with the game. So you guys won't be able to go through the walls, but for some reason, uh, I lost my source or whatever, I forget what it told me. But, as you can see, it's a pretty simple game. <clears throat> but you'll get the hang of it. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys later.